Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to be doing some more decorating for Christmas as well as showing you some more of the Christmas decor that I have already put up. I still have quite a bit more to do. I still need to put up my tree in my office. You guys can see right over there. I still have my tree that I need to put up. I need to decorate the tree in my makeup room and then I need to decorate my hallway and I think that is pretty much it. So Madison just moved over and rested her head on Winnie. Look how adorable she looks. They love each other so much. Madison loves having a sister. Like I told you guys, she was so lonely when Muffin and Molly passed away. So I think she is just so excited to have a new playmate. So I am currently drinking a cup of my favorite sugar cookie sleigh ride tea and this adorable little snowman mug. It says I'm the coolest. I bought this a couple years ago and it is still one of my favorites. So I think I am going to finish this and then start some decorating. Also, I do have some goodies that I picked up on Black Friday that I want to share with you guys. So maybe I will do a quick haul and share that first. This table is such a mess right now. This is kind of why I wanted to share this with you guys first so then I could get all of this stuff put away. So funny, I have a bag of dog toys sitting right here. And earlier when I was vacuuming, I saw the dogs out of the corner of my eye have something red and they don't have any red toys. So right away I thought, hmm, what do they have? I thought at first they had something of mine. And then I realized that Winnie had jumped up here, put her little paws here and stolen this little pig. I just thought it was so funny that she jumped up here and stole the little pig. So these are a bunch of goodies that I picked up on Black Friday. And then I also have a few other things, a couple online orders. So I thought I would quickly share with you guys what we picked up. So first of all, we ended up buying ourselves a PS4. Bill and I have been wanting one of these for a while. So we picked one of these up and we were gonna save this until Christmas, but we thought, you know what, we're adults. So we just decided just to make this like an early Christmas present. So we ended up getting this one that comes with Call of Duty Modern Warfare, which we're not a huge fan of this game. We've actually never even played it, but this one was on sale for $100 off versus the one that didn't come with any game. So we just decided to grab this one. And I'm sure at some point we probably will end up checking out this game and seeing if we like it. Otherwise we'll probably just end up giving it away to somebody. So we did also end up buying a few games. Bill and I mainly like playing racing games. So we bought the new Need for Speed Heat. They were having some super good deals on games. And then we also bought this older Need for Speed Payback, which honestly, I kind of like this one better. And this one I think was only $15, which is half the price of this one. So definitely recommend this one if you know someone that likes racing games. And then we ended up getting South Park because we both love South Park. And this one was only $10. And then this is the one it came with. We have been playing this so much and it is just honestly so much fun. I love playing the racing games. We also both ended up getting some new boots. So I bought both of these pair from Target on Black Friday. These were on sale for $15. They were normally 35. I seriously love these boots so much. They are so soft and comfy. Here is a close up of the boots. Like I said, these are just so soft and cozy. And I believe they did have these in four different colors. So they had this color here, which I believe this one is chestnut. And then I think they had a lighter color and then they had some of the gray like these. And then I believe they also had black, which honestly I was tempted to buy one in each color, but I have so many pairs of boots. So I just decided to go with these two. And then Bill also ended up getting a couple of new pairs of boots. So there are these here and then the other ones he is actually wearing. So I can't show you guys those. So every year Meyer on Thanksgiving has a sale on their shoes and they are always buy one, get one for a dollar. So it is a super good deal because he picked out two different pairs of boots and they were each $100. So we ended up getting buy one, get one for a dollar. So for $101, he got two nice pairs of boots. So we both ended up getting some really good deals on boots. I also ended up buying myself this new coat from Meyer. This was on sale on Thanksgiving for 50% off. They had all of their coats on sale for 50% off. So I bought this one for me and then we ended up buying Bill a cat one as well. So I really like this one. And I think this was only around $30, which I thought was a very good deal. And then the cat one we bought for Bill, I think was 30 as well. And then lastly from Meyer, I picked myself up a couple of sweaters. I think these were on sale for 60% off or something like that. So I bought this gray one right here. This one is so soft and cozy. And then I also bought a black one like this. All right, I just realized I lied and I do have a few more things from Meyer to show you guys. I cannot believe I almost forgot to show you guys these sheets because these are one of my favorite things that I bought. So these are from Meyer, like I said, 
and these are by London Fog. And you guys, I look at these sheets every year. Meyer always gets these, but they are so expensive. And especially now that we have a king bed, I think these were normally $80, which I'm not gonna spend $80 for a set of sheets. So these were on sale for half price. And then we had a coupon as well as we were able to use some of the Meyer Santa bucks. So we ended up getting these for $30. These are seriously the softest sheets ever, and I am just so happy that I finally bought some of these. So this is what the print looks like, and I am just absolutely in love with these. I think when I'm done filming this video at some point later, I am going to wash these and get these put on our bed. I am so excited to cuddle up in these sheets. Like I said, I have literally been wanting these sheets for so long. Lastly from Meyer, I picked up the pups, some of these adorable little collars right here with the bows on them. These were on sale for buy one, get one 50% off. I just thought these were so cute. And they of course need some little Christmas collars, you know? Here are the collars on the pups. Oh my goodness, you guys, they are so adorable. And I just realized they kind of match this bed a little bit. I love these so much. I am so happy that I picked them up. At first I didn't know if I wanted to get them, but seeing them on, they just look so perfect. I have a couple new Ray Dunn goodies. My sister actually picked these up for me a few weeks back. I was so excited when she found us each a gingerbread canister. I had been wanting this one. And then she also picked me up a Santa mug. And you guys, you should see the amount of Ray Dunn my mom and I bought my sister for her birthday. I actually filmed a clip so I could show you guys. So maybe at some point in this video, I will insert the clip so you guys can see all of her Ray Dawn birthday goodies we bought for her. And then also speaking of gingerbread, I bought this amazing gingerbread candle the other day from TJ Maxx and this candle is ginormous. This one smells so good. I actually still have a bunch of gift cards left from TJ Maxx, Home Goods and Marshalls. So I picked this up with one of my gift cards. Like I said, this one smells so good. I did end up caving and buying another Christmas pillow. This one kind of reminds me of the ones that I picked up from Walmart that say, be merry. This one I found at TJ Maxx. And this one actually didn't have a tag on it. So I asked one of the workers how much this one was and she sold it to me for $14.99, which I thought was an amazing deal. So I think I am going to put this on the little bench when you come in through the garage in our entryway. I told you guys I wasn't going to buy any more pillows, but I just really love this one right here. And I did get rid of a bunch of my old Christmas pillows. I gave some to my sister. So I decided I would allow myself to buy another new Christmas pillow. We picked up a ton of new movies. So first of all, we ended up getting a classic planes, trains, and automobiles. If you guys haven't ever watched this movie, I don't know where you've been, but you definitely need to watch this one. This one is so hilarious. Bill and I always love watching this one on Thanksgiving. I bought Romy and Michelle's High School Reunion for my sister. I have no idea how she didn't own this movie because this movie is so amazing. And then I bought this one for Bill and I, School of Rock. This one has Jack Black in it. And this one is absolutely hilarious. I think we might watch this one later. And then all of these movies right here are from the Dollar Tree. They have had so many amazing movies there lately, a ton of Blu-rays. So first of all, we ended up getting Spy. This one has Melissa McCarthy in it. And again, this one is so hilarious. Something Borrowed, this one has Kate Hudson in it. Love this one so much. And then Veronica Mars. I've never seen this one, but I figured I would grab it for a dollar because that's how much it would cost me to rent it. And then if I don't like it, I'll just give it away. This is another really good one. I watched this one a couple of years ago. I think on Netflix, it is called The Tall Man and it has Jessica Biel in it. I used to always love watching her on Seventh Heaven. Do any of you remember that show? It was so good. And then this is another hilarious one. It has Anna Ferris in it. What's your number? Bad Words with Jason Bateman. Bill and I love this one so much. We always laugh so hard in it. We both love Jason Bateman. And then lastly, we picked up Due Date, which I've actually never watched this one before. So kind of excited to watch this one. Love this guy right here. I'm trying to pronounce his name. Zach. Galifianakis, I think that's how it's pronounced. We just watched one with him in it not that long ago called Masterminds. And it also had the main girl from Bridesmaids and it was seriously so funny, I laughed so hard. I picked up a couple of Christmas gifts for Bill. I actually just bought these the other day. So Bill loves playing golf and he loves 
Callaway golf balls, and they had these on sale at Dunham's. I think these were normally 19, 18 or $19, and these were on sale for only 11 so I grabbed him a box of these because he can never have too many golf balls, and every single year, he always asks for golf balls for his birthday and for Christmas. This is what they look like. I think these make perfect stocking stuffers for anyone who loves golf. I'm probably also going to buy him a few other golf-related accessories. He probably needs some new tees and things like that. I also bought him a new wallet because he needs one really bad. So I found this Columbia one at TJ Maxx, and this one was only $12.99. They had a ton of really nice wallets there. I actually saw a Michael Kors one that I wanted to get him, but when I felt it, I don't know. It just seemed really cheap and I was really disappointed because I thought the Michael Kors ones would be higher quality. All right guys, and lastly, I have a bunch of dog toys that I picked up the pups for Christmas and how adorable is the little Menards bag with the Santa hat on it. They're probably gonna come over here when they hear me with these toys because like I said, Winnie already came up here and stole the little piggy earlier. So I think I've told you guys many times that my dogs absolutely love these little pigs. So Menards had these on Black Friday for $2.99. So I of course had to grab them some. They had them in red as well as green and listen to that little sound. They just love these so much even after they make it so it won't make that sound anymore they still love playing with them. And I'm actually kind of surprised that I was just making the little pig grunt and they're still over there sleeping. She must be sleeping pretty hard. I also picked them up one of these little piggies right here and this one just squeaks. If I can get it to squeak. This one was also $3 and I think they just heard, look at that, look at her looking. She's like, give me that pig, mom. I also picked them up a couple of these rope toys right here because they love playing tug of war with each other. So I picked up this little guy and this one squeaks as well. And then he has the little rope legs. Look at Madison, she's like looking, she wants the new toy. I may end up having just to give them one because otherwise I feel mean, like I'm kind of sitting here torturing them with toys, look at them. I kind of wanna go back and buy a few more of these. These are actually still on sale right now. I did go into Menards the other day and these are still only $2.99 if you guys are looking. So I also picked them up this elephant here and this one seems like it's kind of more of a tough toy. So they're both over here giving me their sad little puppy dog eyes. So I am going to give them the elephant now because I'm just a nice mommy. Here you go. And they'll share it and they're off. Look at them, so cute. They'll be playing with that toy for the rest of the day. They are just like little kids. Whenever they get a new toy, it's the only thing that they wanna play with and they'll even wanna bring it to bed with them at night. They are seriously so cute. I think I may end up going back to Menards because I really like these little rope, these little tougher toys right here. And these were only $2.99. So I think I am going to go back and grab them a few more. And I might even grab a couple more of the little grunting piggies just because they love these so much, so. I might as well stock up because normally these little piggies I think are around $6. So good time to stock up when they are half price. I also picked up this cute little guy right here for the pups. This is actually just a kid's toy, but they love having bigger toys to play with. So I found this adorable little Frenchie at Aldi. This was on sale for, I think $13. I just thought this was the cutest thing ever. So had to grab him for the pups. I can hear them back there playing with their new toy. It sounds like they're getting all crazy playing with their new toy. So that is everything that I picked up. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but they keep squeaking that toy like crazy. I think they are just loving it. Also, I don't think that I showed you guys. I did stick my new Ray Dunn rug over here in front of the kitchen. Can you guys hear it? So funny. I did stick the rug in front of the kitchen sink and I think it looks so good. I think they're definitely loving the new toy. They are still playing with it and it has been about an hour later. They have not put this thing down for a second. This one also does squeak. Well, I guess you probably know that because I told you guys they were squeaking it, but the head <laughs> squeaks. I didn't realize that that one would squeak.
All right, guys, next we are getting ready to decorate our hallway. We are going to be hanging up some garland around the doors and there. We've already got the step ladder all ready. That thing has definitely seen better days. It is in such rough shape. Yeah, it's got projects from the past all over it. Yeah, it does. It has paint splattered all over it, drywall mud. It's got a bunch of glitter on it from hanging up the garlands. Yeah, it's got a little bit of everything. Yeah, it does. That little thing is our workhorse though. And look how cute Winnie is. She is sleeping on my new Ray Dunn Ho 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 rug. It is so funny. The second I put that rug out and I walked away the other day, both of the puppies were laying on it. They love to get on anything new. Yeah, they do. Anytime we get a new rug or anything, they just have to be on it seconds after it gets put out. Yep, so anyway. funny. And this Ray Dunn rug is actually so soft. I'm kind of tempted to go back to Home Goods and see if they have another one. I actually saw one the other day. Now I kind of want to get one for the bathroom because it is just so soft and cushy when you were standing on it. Did you stand on it yet? Yeah, I know. It is really nice and soft, isn't it? It feels nice, doesn't it? Yeah. This is the garland that is going to be going up in the hallway. I bought this one last year at Joann's. I'm pretty sure I've told you guys several times they have some of the best garlands. So this is what it looks like. I love the little snowy look and the cute little pine cones. And then also to go on the doors, I'm trying to decide if I want to use some of these little wreaths right here, which are also from Joann's or the sparkly snowflakes. I actually had these hanging on the pantry doors last year and I thought they looked really pretty. So I don't know if I want to go with the sparkly snowflakes or the little wreaths. I guess we'll probably hang up the garland and then see which looks best. We'll probably end up holding both of them up like we always do. Yeah, we always do this thing and say better one, better two. Yeah, we do. All right, so we are going to hang up the garland and we'll come back and show you guys. Also, in case you guys are wondering, we are using some of these clear thumbtacks to hang up the garland. We just stick these in the top of the trim around the door and they work perfectly, don't they? Yeah, they do. They hold it up very nice. Winnie is still sleeping on the rug. I'm pretty sure this is her new love right here, you guys. She's been sleeping in this thing more than her bed. Have you noticed that? Yeah, I yeah. have. Like I said, this rug is super soft and now I kind of want another one of these for the bathroom. Here is the garland all hung up and now we are going to try the snowflakes and the wreaths and see which looks better. So we ended up going with the snowflakes instead of the wreaths. They did look really good, but it just almost looked like too much greenery. Yeah, too much green. It just, I don't know, it just didn't look right. So it's okay though, because I absolutely love these snowflakes. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do with the little wreaths. I'm sure I will find something to do with them. Like I said, I really don't mind because I honestly love these little snowflakes so much. And I think that they look really good hanging up against the white. I love the little rustic look. So I think these basically look perfect on here. And then I might still end up attaching a set of lights to the garland. I think we had lights on there last year, didn't we? I think so. I have to find the strand of lights it's around here somewhere. So we probably will end up doing that as well. But this is how it is currently looking. And now that the garland is up, I am going to vacuum up all of the glitter. I don't know if you guys can see, but there is quite a bit of it on the floor. So I've got my trusty Dyson. Seriously, love this thing so much. Another thing I love about this vacuum is that it is super quiet. I actually like doing chores when I'm talking on the phone and it was funny because the other day I was talking to my mom on the phone and I mentioned that I was vacuuming and she couldn't even believe it because you can't even hear this thing in the background. I think I've even talked to you on the phone when I was vacuuming, haven't I? Yeah, you have. And you can't hear it, can you? No. So definitely love that because I love being able to talk on the phone while I'm doing my chores. Next, I am getting ready to start decorating my tree in my makeup room and I have my two cute little sidekicks here. They are so funny. Every single time I move to a new room to start decorating, they always have to follow me and see what is going on. They are just so adorable. And it looks like Winnie is about to pass out any second. She is so sleepy. Winnie is so tired. Her and Madison have been playing all day. We took them outside earlier and they were playing in the snow, which is one of their favorite things to do. They get so excited when it snows. They just love running and jumping through the snow. I bought this tree a few years ago on clearance at Home Depot after Christmas. That is my favorite time to buy Christmas decorations. And I think this one was on sale for 75% off, which is an amazing deal. And then around the base of the tree, I put this tree collar, which I also bought a few years ago on clearance at Target after Christmas. 
I think they look so nice together. I love the way the white looks with the wicker. So I currently have one lone ornament on my tree and this is the one I showed you guys in one of my vlogs. I bought this adorable ornament from Target. I just thought this one was so adorable with the little marshmallows and the candy cane. So I'm getting ready to start adding some more ornaments. Like I said, I just have this one on here. And this tree did come pre-lit, if you guys are wondering. This is a pre-lit LED tree. I have all of my ornaments sitting on my vanity that I'm going to be using on the tree. So first of all, I have a bunch of these from last year, some of these pink sparkly ones, and then some of these pretty macaroons, a little typewriter. And then this year I picked some of these black ones up. This is the first time I've ever used black bulbs on my tree, so I'm super excited. And I hope that they're going to look good with the pink. So I have some of the black sparkly ones and then some of these black shiny ones, which there's a bunch of dog hair on here. <sighs> that is the problem when you have dogs. Dog hair gets pretty much all over everything. If you guys have dogs, I'm sure you can relate. These black ornaments are from Michaels in case you are wondering. And then I think these pink sparkly ones here are also from Michaels last year and the little macaroons I bought last year at Walmart. And I think the little pink typewriter is either from Hobby Lobby or Joann's from last year. All right guys, so I think now I am going to start decorating my tree. I love this tree, it looks so gorgeous. Hopefully the black ornaments are going to look good with the pink. Like I said, I've never decorated with black ones before. So hopefully they are going to look good. One eternity later. All right guys, I am back. Here is my tree all decorated in my makeup room. Also, I had to switch to my other camera because my battery died in the other one. So here is how the tree looks. I am absolutely loving it. I was a little bit nervous if I was going to like the black with the pink and the white, but you guys, I just think that it looks so amazing. Here is a little bit of a close up. I just think that the tree came out so gorgeous. I asked Bill if he thought that the black ornaments looked good and he said, yes, he really liked them. He thought that they really popped on the white tree. So there you have it, my tree in my makeup room. I absolutely love having a tree in here because I like to keep my other trees throughout the house pretty neutral. And in here, I can just make this one as girly as I want. I mean, I'm sure Bill wouldn't mind if I went a little bit girlier in the rest of the house, but I don't know. I just like to keep it a little bit more traditional. So it's just fun having a tree in here and kind of glamming it up. All right guys, so now I think I am just going to clean up a couple things in here. I have a bunch of this packaging on my vanity. So I did wind up with quite a few extra black bulbs, but I definitely wanted to make sure I had enough because I would rather have more than enough than not enough. So I had quite a few of the black shiny bulbs left over, but I still have a couple spots near the back of my tree that I think I am going to decorate. And then I did wind up with one extra box of the black glittery bulbs, but I may end up using these elsewhere. So like I said, I'd definitely rather have more than enough than not enough. Also one other thing I wanted to show you guys on my vanity are these gorgeous pink shimmery trees right here. I think I showed you guys these in one of my shopping vlogs. These are from TJ Maxx and I absolutely love them. And then also speaking of things that I've been loving, I wanted to show you guys this Victoria's Secret Cashmere Snow Body Spray. I picked this up about a week and a half ago and I am completely obsessed with this stuff, you guys. I've been wearing this almost every single day. And these I think are still on sale right now for $6 up until Christmas which is an amazing deal. I feel like these would make such good stocking stuffers or Christmas gifts. Hi guys, I am back again. So as you can see, I did end up changing up my tree in here. I decided that it looked like it still needed something. So I decided to try out some silver ornaments on the tree and I think that it looks so perfect, you guys. I found some of these gorgeous silver ornaments here that I had from last year. These are actually from the Dollar Tree. And then I also added some sparkly silver ones and some of the matte ones. And then some of these gorgeous silver bows. I bought these last year, I can't remember where these are from. I kind of want to say Walmart, but I'm not 100% sure. So here is my finished tree. Like I said, I'm definitely glad that I added the silver. I feel like it just really finished off the tree nicely. I also just finished cleaning off my vanity. I always love the way it looks when it's nice and clean. It just makes me feel so happy. All right, guys, now I think I am going to go do some laundry. I really want to get those new sheets washed so we can get them put on the bed. I am so excited to sleep in those cozy sheets. 
So I just put our new sheets in the washer. So I decided I would quickly show you how our bedroom is looking all decorated for Christmas while I am waiting on them. Winnie is here with me in her bed. Well, she thinks this is her bed. It's so funny because Winnie and Madison, every time we tell them to go lay in their bed at night, they will run over to our bed and want to jump in, or at least they try to jump in because our bed is so tall. So they'll kind of run over to it and put their little paws up on it, waiting for us to lift them into the bed. And it is just the cutest thing ever. They basically have claimed our king size bed. And I can hear Madison coming and I guarantee she's going to run over here and put her paws up on the bed. How did I know she was going to do that? So this is exactly what they do. Like I said, when it's nighttime and we tell them get into your bed, this is what they do, which is just so hilarious. Our little pups are so spoiled. You guys have no idea, but we just love them so much and we just want them to live their best life. So this is how our bedroom is looking. I absolutely love the way this came out. So as you can see, I did end up adding a garland to the headboard. So this one I found at Menards. This one was only $9.99. This is actually one that I had from last year, but they do still sell them this year. For a pop of color on the bed, I added this red Be Merry pillow. This is from Walmart and this was only $9.99. And then if you guys watched my last video, I have this tree sitting over here in front of the mirror. This is from Home Depot. I am in love with this little tree. It just reminds me of a real tree. I just love the sparse look that it has. And then also again, if you watch my last video, then you probably already saw these wreaths that I hung up on the closet doors. These are from Joann's and again, I absolutely love these. Love the little pine cones and the berries. I just feel like these have a nice realistic look to them. And then I don't know if you guys can see or not, but I just used a couple of these little wreath hangers to hang them up. These are actually from the Dollar Tree. The nice thing is you can hardly even see them because the wreaths cover up the hangers. I seriously love these wreaths so much, you guys. Like I said, Joann's is definitely one of my all-time favorite places to shop for garlands and wreaths. And I think when I bought these, they were on sale for 70% off, which is an amazing deal. And then lastly, for Christmas decor in the bedroom, over here sitting on the chest of drawers, I have one of these little snowy trees, which is from Target. I think these trees are adorable. They have a nice realistic look to them, and I absolutely love the little wicker baskets they are in. And then lastly, I have a candle here from Bath & Body Works. This one is mahogany teakwood. This is actually an older one. I found this in my candle stash, and I am currently just trying to burn through a bunch of my older candles. Speaking of Bath & Body Works candles, they are having their huge candle sale this Saturday, which by the time you're watching this video, it will be today. I'm hoping to be uploading this video on Saturday. So definitely run out and grab some candles from Bath & Body Works. It is a great time to stock up. I believe this year they are going to be on sale for $8.95 and then you can use your 10 off 30 or I also have a 15 off 40, which I think I figured it out. And if I use the 15 off 40 on five candles, it will work out to be about $6.48 a candle, which is amazing. All right, guys, now I think I am going to go see if my sheets are ready to go in the dryer. I am so excited to get those sheets put on the bed and cuddle up in them tonight. So I think that is going to be it for this video. We're probably going to go watch a Christmas movie or maybe even School of Rock because we have been wanting to watch that one. Gotta love Mr. Schneeble. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day and I will talk to you in my next video.